Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Arpin coming to you from my house in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, right by the zoo. Um, I am upstairs in my in my mine and my husband's art studio, doing a little drawing tutorial for you about um, elephant and piggy. So, if you have this book at home or a book like it at home, you could draw from my tutorial, you could draw from the book, just to get a better idea of some of the different ways that um, Gerald and Piggy look in these books. I love Mo Willems, I love his illustrations, and um, if you'd like, when you're done with the drawing tutorial, there's a link to this book that you can listen to. Um, there's a person reading it aloud on a YouTube video. I've also included, um, Mo Williams has put together some great little they're called doodles with Mo Willems and they're doodles that he's going to be doing on a, on a daily basis um, at this time when we're all at home teaching and learning so those might be really fun for you to check out he's got a really interesting studio he answers questions from kids you can um, draw along with him as well so all sorts of things you can do around um, Mo Williams Mo Willems awesome work um, we're going to go step by step through how to draw both piggy and elephant. Um, make sure that you pause the video along the way so that you know um, just what to do. Remember how we break things down into shapes and letters. Um, an ear can be an upside down V or a triangle. So see what you can do. Um, get your, your family to draw along with you if you'd like. And again, pause the video at any point. Please be sure to uh, post the pictures of your cool drawings on Seesaw. I can't wait to see them, see what you come up with, um, and have, have fun with this drawing. All right, let me just adjust this for you so you can follow along with the drawing. All right, the first character we're going to draw is Piggy. And I think Piggy's really cute, and I love the simple way that Mo Willems draws his characters. So let's start with the head shape, which of course is just going to be a nice circle. And then we can go ahead and add his upside down letter V or triangle ears, one on each side. Don't forget you can pause at any time if you need to, to get your shapes right. All right, next let's think about Piggy's body. He's kind of a skinny pig. So I'm going to draw almost like a giant uppercase U in a way. That will help define his cute little pig body. He's not very chubby. He's got skinny little legs. Or that's at least how Mo Willems draws them. So that's two long lines down. There's one leg and there's the other leg. And then if you put your pencil, your pen here, draw an upside down V, that will make his little piggy hoof. Okay, don't forget to pause if you need to. His arms are really exactly the same. Two lines down. I'm going to make this a little bit longer. And then his little hoof. And other side lines down. Put your pen here, go up and down. I like to add a little curly tail on there. His face is great because in the book there's so many different ways that um, Mo Willems draws Piggy's face. I'll just draw the one that's just sort of looking forward. In the middle of his face you're going to draw a giant sideways oval or egg and then for his nostrils you're going to make the letter I'm sorry, the number 11, right there. For his mouth, you could make it surprised, or I'm going to make a smile. If you look through the book, if you have any of the books, you can see all the different expressions that Mo Willems does to make him look surprised, or worried, or scared, or happy, or funny, or laughing, or whatever. His eyes, then, are smaller ovals. And to make them come to life, you can simply color in those ovals. And there we have Piggy. Now, excuse me, I'm going to draw 
elephant, otherwise known as Gerald. He, I think he's a little trickier to draw, but I know you can do it. So for Gerald, I'm going to start by making a round head again. And then for his ears, it's like a curve and a down. Can anybody see or notice that that's like an upside down letter J or like almost like a candy cane? And you're gonna draw this line straight to attach to his head. And on this side, I'm gonna go over here and make it even. And there's this cute little head with his ears. Don't forget to pause if you need to. He wears glasses and his eyes are a little closer together. They're circles and he has a pupil. I think that's meant to be like the outside of his glasses. There we have his eyes and I'm gonna connect them here. And then this is the part that goes by his ears. Those are the arms of the glasses to keep the glasses on. Those who have glasses like me know about that part that has to connect over the ear. Okay, he's usually, he's a little bit more worried than Piggy, so I'm gonna put the eyebrows kind of off to the side like here. That gives him a little bit of a concerned look. That's what I love about Piggy. He has a trunk because he's an elephant. So that's again like a curved line. I'm gonna draw a small line down there and then I'm gonna keep it even. Now you at home that are using a pencil, you could erase this line right here where the trunk overlaps the head. I'm using my Sharpie, so I'm not gonna be able to erase that, but you could go ahead and erase that little bit of a line. Okay, his body shape is similar to Piggy's and now that I'm looking at it, I probably could have drawn him a little bit bigger because he's bigger than Piggy, but oh well. So again, he's got kind of that U-shaped body. But now his arms and legs are going to be different because he's not a pig with a little hoof on the arm. He's got those great big elephant toes. So his legs are going to be a little bit wider. And then I love this about elephants. It's like upside down U's that make those cute toes. And Mom Willems draws about this many. So cute. And his arms are very rectangular. And then he's got those little lumps for toes. So cute. there's elephant right I should have drawn him a little bit taller and him a little bit smaller because you'll notice in the book elephants are bigger than pigs mrs. Arpin I should have thought about that um, try to draw them check out those other links and videos that I sent for you um, I miss you already we're gonna do our best to get through this and ha have a good time with some art and activities that you can do with your other classroom teachers and I will hopefully see you very soon until then I can't wait to see your drawings and um, even maybe some pictures of you on seesaw to see what you're up to bye boys and girls